So next presentation is Dr. Bethany Slater. Slater. Thoracoscopic management of patent ductus arterials and vascular rings in infants and children. Thank you very much. I have nothing to disclose. Both patent ductus arteriosus and vascular division, vascular rings often require surgical treatment. This has traditionally been through an open thoracotomy. However, with increased technical experience and the known advantages of the thoracoscopic approach, this has gained in popularity. Thus, we performed a retrospective review of all of our patients that underwent a thoracoscopic PDA ligation and vascular ring division at our institution between October 1993 and March 2015. In the PDA group, there were 78 patients with um, an age mean of 18 months. In the vascular ring group, there were 13 patients with ages ranging from six weeks to 13 years. This shows the technique here. All patients were placed in a modified and prone position with the left side elevated about 30 degrees. And this is, shows the uh, port placement here. For PDA ligation, the PDA is dissected and clipped. For vascular ring division, all of the atretic structures are completely dissected, doubly clipped and then divided, and all the fibrous bands over the esophagus are then divided and mobilized. In the PDA group, there was one mortality that was not related to the procedure. There was one conversion to an open procedure for a torn ductus, and two that required um, reoperation, one with a thoracoscopic repair, and one with catheterization for occlusion from recurrences. All three of those cases were very early on in the series. For the vascular ring group, there was one patient with a complete double arch that required conversion to open. And in two cases, thoracoscopic expiration revealed no compression and dissection was stopped. All patients symptomatically improved after division of the ring. Thus, thoracoscopic closure of PDA and division of vascular rings are safe and effective techniques which affords magnification of the vascular structures and avoids the morbidity of a thoracotomy. Thank you very much. Dr. Ashwin. Congratulations, Bethany, you did a great job. I just want to ask you, um, how many of these kids were premature babies? They all were above one kilo, mm -hmm. um, so none were very premature. Um, there were a many of the series were newborns and were still either somewhat premature or term babies, um, although some were older. And all of the chest cavities were virgin chest cavities? I'm sorry? I said all the chest cavities were virgin chest cavities, never entered in before? Correct. No, yeah. none had operations prior. Yeah. Thank you. So any specific training needed for such kind of a vascular, you know, technique or surgery thing? I think that anyone that has advanced thoracoscopic technique could approach these. Um, I think like most cases in minimally invasive surgery, the port placement is of critical importance and that significantly changes if you have the ports in the correct position. Um, I think carrying out safe technique, I think that it can be done by a variety of different surgeons. You do stop breathing for a while when you do it. <laughs> Congratulations. Excellent data. Thank you.